going to talk today about sharing your daily tasks with a community. For example, in our ADHD Guild Discord community, we have a specific channel for daily tasks. So Colleen, what do we mean by daily tasks? Well, we absolutely mean that if you do not post a daily task every day that you are scuffed, no. Um, what we mean is simply, okay, I have things to get done today. I need a little, I, I need, I need different things to help me get those done. And one of them can be posting that list. So if you post it once a month, if you post it once a weekend, like me, or if you post it a random amount of times, it's just about what's going to get done that day, hopefully. And it's about if it works for you, like not just the how, but also like, do you want to post them at all? Is that useful to you or, or was it not? And it's always great to try new things and see if it works for you, but maybe it doesn't. We have, I don't know, not even half our current guild that posts them, but the ones who do find it really valuable. Mm -hmm. And the ones who don't, we don't put any pressure on them because we know that that's not going to benefit them at all. Yep, absolutely. Some people post it as a literal message in the Discord document or in, in the Discord uh, application software. Uh, and some people post just a picture of the handwritten one because uh, with, with the multitude of unique brain types that are out there, different people and on different dates want different tools for things. Um, and it can be very, very interesting to see a handwritten list of somebody's, like how it just organically came out of their brain as opposed to yours. It can be a great learning experience. Um, uh, and when, yes? Oh, I was just going to say, some people have also posted screenshots of their like work computer screen because they didn't want yes. to put Discord on their work computer. But like, and it's just the task list. Like it doesn't have any identifiable yes. private information. But but then that that works and it helps them feel more accountable yep uh when you do utilize the the uh, messaging in the discord channel you can come back and edit your uh your message later as you check off hopefully your tasks and one thing that i do is i use emojis as bullet points not only that, but I will use one emoji to represent this is in the future, one emoji to represent this is now completed. So for example, a little egg is, this is what I'm going to do. And then it turns into a dinosaur when I've done it. And it amuses the heck out of me. <laughs> and, and she has different themes too. Like- Yes. Yeah, I like a pickaxe and a, and a gem. Yes. <laughs> yes. And a, a wizard and a fireball. Yes, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> whimsy, always add whimsy to your productivity. That's my top, that, that, that's my tip. Yeah, as long as it, 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 it's aiding and not distracting, yes, always whimsy. Correct. Um, but you can check them off however you want. Some people use a strike through, some people add a check emoji, but yep. the idea is you can um, go through them if you want to. You don't have to. Some people benefit the most just from, you know what? I have actually decided concretely yes. what I'm going to accomplish today. And yep. I will feel good when these things are accomplished yep. and I've put it somewhere publicly. And so now I will feel some sense of obligation <laughs> to do them. Yes. <laughs> yep. And then some people will like comment in the co-working chat, uh, um, uh, the text chat about what it is that they're doing. They don't go back and, and alter it later. It's, it's, uh, it is a framework that people use in multiple ways um, that suits them because there is no one right way um and one of the great things about well a, a to-do list in, in general but also specifically posting it is if you're just like oh yeah i have things to do today that can be vague inside our heads but once you write it down you're thinking about okay specifically what is this and that can a seem less overwhelming hopefully and b it can help you to say okay, what is it really going to mean? What, what is it really going to take to accomplish this? Like, okay, I wanted to do taxes today, but oh, I have to consult with my partner on that. And they're not here right now. I, I, I can't actually have that conversation with them. So actually I can't do that today. Yeah. Um, and man, we're just so much more likely to get the things done when we've really defined what they are at all. 
because sometimes yeah. we just feel so overloaded and never make that choice. And, and one of the other choices, and this one is harder, and just because you put it on a daily task list doesn't mean you've done this, but deciding what not to do today too. Mm. And that, oh, you know what? This for sure won't fit today. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be really powerful too, to sort of let ourselves off the hook a little bit more formally. That will often happen. Uh, I have a habit of posting very long to-do lists on Sundays because that's my no people, no scheduled time. And if you go back and look at my Sunday lists, oh, look, it's done. And then there's a lot that's struck off, which is my version of, whoops, that's not happening today. It's, it's about 50-50 ratio, maybe 60-40 yeah. um, on, on a good day. 60% got done, 40% was like, oops, I, I overcommitted on that. Um, and, and that's how it goes. And, and uh, being able to forgive myself and say, okay, that's just the reality of it. And I'll beat myself up about it is a, uh, is a skill that I am constantly learning as are we all. One of the things, if there's something particularly difficult or ADHD hard, um, you can brag about it in our ADHD brags channel. Mm -hmm. And, and so sometimes it's, yeah, I called the doctor, like I said, I was going to do, but I also advocated for the thing I wanted to when they tried to tell me the default treatment. Yes. Which I, because we do yesterday. not fit the default nine times out of 10. No, no. And, but it's so easy to just be like, okay, that's what they told me to do. And yes. I don't want to ask for something else. And anyway, yeah. so that type of thing, like I did it and bonus, you could also put into an ADHD. Mm -hmm. brag. Yep. Um, I don't know how often folks do this, but I mean, it sounds like Colleen has a good gut on it, but you can go back and say like, have I gotten better at making my, you know, what I'm going to do today more realistic mm -hmm. or like, oh yeah, I have been doing things. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes that can be helpful when we're feeling like we're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I would actually be very interested to go back and look at my Sunday lists and yeah. be like, huh, what is the ratio here? And also uh, that can be super helpful for if something is on your list over and over again and doesn't get checked off and doesn't get done. That's an excellent coaching topic. Yeah. Or, or, or just ditch it if it really yes. doesn't have to happen. <laughs> yeah. If it's just, it's like, oh, this has to get done, but it's not a to-do list. A, a to-do list history can help you uh, identify that. And yeah, it is a very good coaching topic. Like, mm -hmm. cause if nothing changes, it probably won't change. And mm -hmm. so what do I actually need to, to move towards that? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for listening to us talk about the importance of posting daily tasks. We forgot to say that they're voluntary.